da 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 You think to yourself that you have the most ingenious and cleverest of plans to solve some problems in your life. Although, you know, life will always throw you curveballs. <laughs> I think all of us could probably relate to that uh, general principle. And you'll be seeing that on full display with this new Mar Vista Entertainment comedy movie. That'll be very interesting. Now, some of you might hear that name and think, oh, I know exactly what you're talking about if you follow this channel for long enough. This is a studio that I've covered extensively. But for those of you who don't, Mar Vista Entertainment, they're primarily a TV film distribution company. They produce a lot of films you might see again, like standard 90-minute films, maybe on the Lifetime channel, maybe some other channels as well. I know they've had a couple of Lifetime releases, which is why I throw that one out specifically. But they've also had a couple that maybe you can find on streaming services too. Tubi especially has a whole bunch of them, and Netflix has a few as well circulating for their selection. But I tend to check out more of their thrillers. They're very well known for doing thrillers, especially in the romantic space. This is a new comedy film, though, and they've had a couple comedy films, I think, in the past um, that have been, they've looked enjoyable, especially some of the ones set around the holiday season. They've also done a lot of, like, uh, uh, Christmas films in particular. Let's go ahead and take a look, though, at The Miseducation of Bindu in a second from the uh, trailer perspective, but first from the synopsis. This is according to IMDb. When a bullied Indian teen forges her mother's signature to test out of high school, she discovers she must pay a test fee by the seventh period, leaving her no choice but to turn to the student she desperately wants to leave. See, it's kind of funny. I mean, like, well, you know, forgery, that's kind of a crime, right? However, I get it. Most teens, you know, the high school years are kind of dark and people you know obviously adults don't remember that in such you know blissful circumstances me especially i don't know high school is not i mean it has it, everybody has ups and downs you know there are good moments but they're high school is just such a chaotic time and for this teenager she's like well you know i'm gonna take steps in my own hands to mitigate the situation and try to remedy things and get out <laughs> perhaps again maybe the people she's around it, it it's kind of uncomfortable who knows but to have a curveball like that of, well, you know, I have to go now and get money from you. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I mean, like, maybe this will be an endearing project where she'll come to love the student she's around and be like, you know, maybe my place is in high school. We'll see. I'm sure the trailer will articulate that for us. For those of you who are familiar with Marvista, you already know where I'm going with this. They're the TV company that I always know off the top of my head for spoiling their movie trailers. They'll take a 90-minute movie on average. This one's about... A little over, actually, at 92 minutes. And they'll boil it down to about two to three minutes and give you all the plot points, including the ending. <laughs> now, this is, like, even more notorious within their thrillers. They're like, well, you give me all the spoilers. You've solved the mystery for me. I know who the killer is. This is different. This Maybe we'll get to the full result. Maybe they'll leave it open-ended so that we can enjoy the film, you know, with letting the trailer actually do the work and getting us to watching the movie rather than laying out the entire film for us in a condensed version. Let's go ahead and take a look at the miseducation for Bindu from a trailer perspective, and we'll talk about it more in my condensed review segment. Following us watching the video together, let me pull up the trailer here. Okay. There it is. The miseducation of Bindu. I do like the name. Here we go. Let's take a look. Uh, hang on. All right. Hey, it is my favorite new student, uh... Bindu. Good. What do we have here? They, they can't remember my name. I don't want to be here. See, high school can be a cruel no time, though. I mean, if her friends are bullying her, I can certainly imagine. Whoa. Take it easy. No breaking hearts, remember? Bindu, got a moment? I want to know how things are going in class. Seems like people just don't like me. That, oh. <laughs> Everybody's made that mistake. High school experience all my stepdad's fault. He was like, let's give Bindu the all-American high school experience. I'm sure this isn't exactly what he had in mind. It can be cruel. So that, this is like a comedy drama in a way. Would end all this. How many classes do you have to test out of? Just Spanish. The Spanish proctor will be $57. You're screwed. So what do you plan to do? I need $55.75. Why? The dance. The dance? I'm gonna have to talk to your mom about this. Oh. Do you have the notes from the rational functions? Five dollars. What? <laughs> this is stealing. Here's what I got. Check my work. I mean, it's okay. a creative strategy to use the students around you. I heard you're hitting up that She's got an entrepreneurial go spirit. That's down. to be commended. <laughs> Do you know what's going on with Bindu? I don't 
have it all. Where did you get all that money from? I don't even know where you've been. Where have you been, Ma? See, it was just you and me, and then you. It looks like a good piece, but I prefer to watch that particular moment in the movie. Me? I've been spending all this time trying to figure out what I did to annoy you, but I just realized that you probably don't even know. People are putting shaving cream in my lockers and they're throwing things at me and you put me here. It does get better. Oh, she finds love. See you around. Again, you know that I could have been my through the movie. <laughs> I just stuff them in that box. It's really weird, Bill. I'm weird. So are you. And so what? There's a lot of layers to that. I don't know. I'm new to this. And it does look good in, in many capacities. Uh, I mean, the fact that it's probably a story many people can relate to, I'm sure, uh, as well. Oh, probably, you know, I could easily see this being a family watch, even. You know, sometimes with, with TV films, there will be some that appeal, you know, to... Um, uh, at different age groups. I would imagine for more so what Mar Vista does in the thriller space, those are more so to like older teens and adults. But I could see, you know, a kid sitting down with their family and watching this, right? A, a family being confident of, hey, you know, this is an appropriate film. It, it can be relatable to you. Maybe for uh, kids who've gone through school, maybe through younger grade levels um, or high school, you know, in particular, and they've faced, unfortunately, the result of bullying. I mean, that's, that, that's definitely notorious in the high school space. It's sad. Imagine for a girl like this too, it's like, you know, she already feels, there, there's a lot going on in her life that's like, why would you put me in this situation where it just makes things a lot worse? And you can definitely see that moment coming to fruition. And you you can certainly understand where she's at when she's like, you know, I want to um, take steps to get out of a situation to make my life better and more easygoing at the moment. I think it's very creative in the way she does it. I mean, again, like, get your students to pay, or get your classmates to pay for your notes. Why didn't I do that? <laughs> I took a psychology class a couple years ago. This was in college, not in high school. Um, I was sitting at a table. Okay, I, I'll, I'll throw this out there, though. All the girls, I was, it was, I was literally the only guy in the group. Or, well, not in the class, but I was the only guy at the table, and there were three to four of her girls. I forget the exact number. It might have floated around, but... The, I, you know, I, I quickly developed a bit of a, a camaraderie with them, and they were asking me at one point, because they knew I take extensive notes, and I, I had my laptop with me, I, I take really fast notes in academic setting, like, I have probably about maybe 20 pages of notes after I come out of, like, one lecture class for a psychology uh, uh, um, uh, lecture, but then they would ask me, you know, because maybe sometimes they wouldn't be there for that class day, or... Yeah, they just wanted I, they just wanted to get all the information down. They'd ask me about if, if I could share my notes with them, which I did. I should have asked them for money in exchange. <laughs> I, know, I quit my retail job around then, and they were all still working. Anyway, <laughs> the ideas. Um, maybe you'll start. See, maybe the, the miseducation of Bindu. If kids watch it or high school students will be like, you know, that's an idea that'll start forming. Uh, maybe not for the same goal. I would imagine many students be, hey, I can make a little money on the side. Maybe not to get out of the high school setting. But I mean, what she's doing of her life, you know, there, there's, I, I definitely appreciate the emotional layer to this as well. Because again, it makes the film extremely relatable. Uh, and then you can also get to see that, that tension and the resolving of that conflict depicted through not just what's going on at the school and through, you know, her problem solving situation. But in the fact that her mom eventually finds out. Again, I would have liked to find that out in the context of the film, though. That, that would have been better saved there but rather than the trailer. Because you're pretty much, again, just laying out all the main plot points for me. But you can definitely see that coming to a head. But at the same time, for this girl where she's um, learning to live in the, the situation that she's in, you know, to the best of circumstances, or maybe finding uh, 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 things to appreciate in, in those moments. You can also see that maybe there's a revitalization between the, the relationship that Amos with her own family, perhaps, because um, you can see from the trailer there's sort of a, a rift between her and her stepdad, in particular because of the school a situation. It looks very interesting. Again, it looks like a fun uh, a, um, a movie. And yes, it gives it almost some humor. It's more so like a drama. Or I would say more so maybe, well, would I describe it as coming of age? I don't know exactly if I describe it that way. But it's a very relatable story that I would imagine would play very well for the TV audience. And perhaps... 
families will be able to watch this one together. It looks really nice. What are your guys' thoughts on the miseducation of Bindu? Let me know down below. Don't forget all the good stuff. Like, subscribe, and sharing that bell until we get to watch more from our Vista Entertainment, which, of course, we will. <laughs> they make a lot of films, and I... I, I do kind of like talking about the fact that they keep spoiling their films. It's kind of fun. I will see you guys at whatever point we get to watch this, uh, another product from the studio again. But until we get to whatever point, maybe we'll get to watch a different trailer entirely from a totally different studio. I will see you whenever we get to watch the next trailer. But until then, thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. Don't forget to love yourself, fellow man. God bless and peace.